Okay, here is movie number two in the Monster Every Day for October 2022, uh, Frankenstein from 1931, on 4K Blu-ray. So this one is on this set. And then just minor note on this set, it's in like the Digibook thing. And I have discovered that I absolutely hate pulling the discs out of here because I feel like you get them fingerprinty or scratchy or messy. So Universal, stop doing this. Almost makes me tempted to just buy the separate steel books of them so I don't have to deal with that. Okay, so I've seen this one before and I'm a huge fan of the book of Frankenstein, the 1818 version and also the 1931 version. I think I like the 1818 version better. Uh, but this movie is just like a total simplification of that story. Um, which is okay. So I tried really hard to just watch it as a movie and not as like, and not keep getting grumpy that it's so simple based on this book that I absolutely love. Uh, so I, I think the warning at the beginning is just, is really silly where the guy comes out and tells you that it's going to be shocking and scary. And it reminded me of uh, this movie, which I hope people have seen Frank and Thumb. Uh, so I hope people have seen this. Um, but the warning at the beginning of this movie is, is really good. So you should watch that. I liked in the, that's by Steve Oderkirk, by the way. I liked in the, in the opening credits how it said, when it was showing the cast, it said the monster and had a question mark. I just thought that was pretty spicy and good. Uh, the sets were really detailed and fun. Uh, there was a cool scene that I liked when Frankenstein was laughing and then it faded to black and he, his laugh was still going over the black. I thought that was really uh, cool. Uh, what else? Oh, a lot of the shots on the girl, the fiancé girl, were like softer. They were softened, so they weren't as detailed. I thought that was interesting. Uh, this behind me is actually my absolute favorite shot from the whole movie. This is when Frank, uh, the monster, I was going to say Frankenstein, but this is when he first comes up out of the out of the little basement thing and he slowly turns around let's see I'm gonna mute it and then just play it see if that'll work anyway so when he just slowly turns around after coming out of there I just think the light on his face is so awesome it's a little it's a little blown out from my camera um, yeah so, you can, so it just it, when he he slowly turns around like right there, you see his profile, and then as he steps into the light, I just think the contrast and lighting on his face is so awesome. And then when it zooms in on his eyes right there, um, I think that's like a direct reference from the book talking about his yellow watery eyes. So anyway, that's my favorite shot of this movie. I think maybe I'll try and show my favorite shot of each movie. Um, so getting into the 4K, the actual 4K part of this, um, the black and white, uh, was amazing it was the contrast looked so good and it just was so clean and uh, easy to watch it just it's not my favorite of the monster movies but the restoration of it was absolutely beautiful um, and I don't think it was as good looking as Dracula on 4k I think this movie inherently just has a, is a lot rougher of a picture uh, but this is like the cleanest that it's ever been so it looked really good um, just kind of getting back into the movie, I just thought it was funny how the little hunchback guy, Fritz, was getting treated very poorly. Um, there's a part where Frankenstein is acknowledging who's there for the experiment, and he doesn't even he doesn't even like acknowledge that Fritz is there. So he's been kind of treated poorly, and then once the monster comes out, uh, Fritz is just abusing him, and it's interesting that the monster kills him. So it's kind of like, I mean, it's not good that he died, but it's like Fritz kept like bugging him and bugging him and bugging him, and then he killed him, so... Uh, not surprising there. Um, okay, there is a crazy part with Baron Frankenstein. When they're knocking on the door, look at the side of his neck. I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, I muted it again. Uh, but just look. It's like behind his ears. It's the dad. It's the dad when they're going to get in there. Let me see if I can pause it on there. He turns his head. Right there. Oh, my gosh. Can you see that on there? Yes, you can. Look at this thing. Look at this is that what is that anyway giant giant goiter or something i don't know
Anyway, sorry. I just had like a whole little little note on my paper to be like, talk about the bump on his neck. So I did. He's got a big bump on his neck. I don't know what it's about. But, uh, oh yeah, and then like the part when the monster is in the house when they're like getting ready to have their their wedding and then Frankenstein's just like they're all like let's go see what's going on and she's like I want to come too don't leave me alone and he just like locks her in there locks his fiance in there and then it's like oh that's weird she got attacked in there uh just <laughs> can't believe he did it can't believe he did that uh so Speaking speaking again of the 4K, so obviously they kept the same 2.0 DTS HD Master Audio, um, but I felt like this movie, like whereas Dracula was like soothing to watch, I felt like this movie was kind of chaotic, and um, towards the end it just it was just like loud. There was like dogs barking and people yelling and just so much noise that it didn't sound like clean noise. It was just it sounded. Uh, like I said, it just sounded loud, and it was almost like hard to watch, um, just with all the all the different sounds going on at once and like overlapping each other. And even when they were inside the windmill, the dogs just like kept barking, and it was like, oh my gosh! So it was like it was harder to watch, just like sen sense wise. Like I just the yeah. Anyway, it was just really noisy. So. I didn't like the sound as much on this one. I think if they restored it and separated those sounds, it could have sounded a little bit better. Uh, so that's that. Uh, there was some really awesome cinematography. Like there was a shot of above showing down on the mob, so the people moving. There was a shot inside the the windmill when there's like the thing turning where you Frankenstein and the monster are looking back and forth at each other. So there's some really cool uh, like camera moves and shots in here. And oh my gosh, this movie ended so abruptly. Like, I was actually joking when he's like, here's to a son of Frankenstein. And they're like, well, let's drink. He doesn't need a drink. And then I was just like, and then he closed the door. And I was like, I was joking. I was like, the end. And it freaking ended right there. So the movie is very crazy abrupt ending. I don't know why they, they didn't like have like a smooth out. I don't know. I guess with the movies being so short, it's just like scene, 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 scene. And then it's like, weird little funny scene and that's like end it's like, okay so he's broke a bunch of bones from falling off or getting thrown off the thing and he's recovering and his dad makes a joke with all these ladies and they laugh and it ends it's just like what is this movie what is this ending weird uh there's a short film on the disc called boo uh it was horrible it was trying to be funny and some of it was funny but i mean it was like really horrible it was like nine minutes and i was like nope could not do it um, so I do recommend watching Frankenstein, uh, especially in HD or on 4K, um, because it is such a classic. And same kind of thing. You can watch it seriously as like studying an old film, or you can watch it to just kind of make fun of it. Um, but I, I really hope that the other movies that have Frankenstein in it, in this set, are more enjoyable uh, in like a serious way, like quality way, but also more enjoyable, like just like a fun way. Um, cause this one was like a weird mix between like serious and trying to be fun, but it didn't quite do it for me. So I don't, I didn't really like this Frankenstein this time around. Um, and I, like I said earlier, I haven't read Dracula, so that maybe I could, I could, I was more free to enjoy that movie. Um, but I was really trying to watch this one without having the book in my mind the whole time. I was just trying to watch it as a little movie. So, um, yeah, those are, those are my thoughts. Uh, this, you should watch this if you haven't seen it because it's really funny and the other thumb movies by Steve Kirk. So thank you for watching. This is going to be the December 2nd movie review and, uh, I'm going to try and do one of these every day of December 2022. So we'll see how it goes. Please enjoy and stay tuned for the next one. And thank you for watching.